Welcome to TD Snap. I have the 5x5 bilingual core first grid showing here. That's the vocabulary page set I've selected. It is really cool because you can click on Spanish and it will convert all of your symbols over that are pre-programmed and then you can go back to English with one click. How do you edit buttons? I get that question a lot. And in order to edit buttons, there are a couple rules to live by. With TD Snap, your core word page should really not be changed. You can change it slightly, but in general, I say, let's try and leave this as normal as it comes. It has links, it will conjugate your verbs, it will translate it into another language. So if we start messing with these symbols, a lot of kind of domino effect will happen. So for example, if I say you, you, it changes the is to an R. If I start changing symbols, it won't change that syntax morphology aspect. R. Liking. It's changing the verb form as I build my sentence, right? If I go I, I. it changes it to M. M. Stopping, stopping to give you a present progressive verb tense. So if I start editing this, it's just not going to work well. The basic rule of thumb, if you want your child to have quick access, put it in personal. That is my first go-to if I want my child to have very fast access. You can also put things into quick fires, my phrases. This is a completely blank page. So those are two blank slates that you can add symbols to that are easy to navigate to. You can also change basically any submenu. So if I go to all word lists and I want to go to food and drink, I call this your topic landing page. This is built by vocabulary frequency. So Toby Dynavox collects data from users if you share your data and says these are the most popular things that we see on the device that people are using. So here is your landing page. Any of these symbols that are white 100% move them around, change them, edit them. That's perfectly fine. What you want to avoid is going to any word. Go. Whoops. Let me go to actions here. Again, these are white. These can be changed. Any of these core words or word forms, we, we don't want to. Stop mess with these because see they will gray out because we can't say stop self but we can say stops, stops. if we want to change the morphology again anything that's white go ahead and change anything that's a different color try and keep as is this goes for these two up here you have your menus are in different color these are not white they have an arrow that means it's linked to another page when I get to this other page and everything is white I can absolutely change this to my heart's content. That's a good rule of thumb. If for some reason there's too much on this page and your student is getting overwhelmed, what I recommend, I have an editing passcode, you may or may not have that on there, is that you hide what you don't want. So for example, I am not really concerned that my student right now is working on perfect verb tense. I just want him to use some variety of verbs. I will not be using this, I will not be using a, I will not be using the, I may use and, but I'm going to hide those two, or those three, because those aren't important. I may also hide some of the pronouns that we aren't working on, so we aren't working on you, it, he, I just want to work on I, for example. Then when I go back, it's a simpler interface and you can hide as many as you want. So if you want your student to work on I want more, you can hide everything on this page but those three symbols. That's a really good way. You don't break any links. You don't have any issues there. All right, now that being said, how do I change and create new buttons or adjust buttons that are already in existence? Let's go to quick fires. Quick fires are a little bit different because they do not go in the message bar. No way. As you see, you heard it speak, but nothing popped up up here. So this is for very quick 
social communication that we want to do as efficiently as possible. There's a lot of phrases and some sentences in here. I don't know. Instead of having to build I plus don't plus no, it's much faster. You're welcome. Thank you. Excuse me. So your quick fires can be really, really helpful. I'm going to go into feelings and let's change at school at school because I want to put the school name in here. I select the button. I'm in edit mode as well. I don't think I mentioned that. Click on the gear with the pencil to make any changes. So click on the gear with the pencil in the upper right hand corner. So instead of at school, I want to say the school name. So let's just say it's Brown Elementary. I can change what the button says. That's the label. And I can also change what it speaks. So that's the speech bubble. And let's say I want to change this to a photo of the actual school building. I can click on the camera and then I can either take a picture with the device camera. Now I'm on a PC right now for this tutorial, but if you were on an iPad, which most of you probably will be, you can use the camera built right into the iPad to take a photo. Or if you already have photos, I recommend that you take all of the photos with the iPad that you need and then start adjusting the symbols. It's a lot easier to just add a bunch from the photo library instead of having to stop and take a photo every single time you want to make a button. So if I click from photo library, I don't actually have a picture of a school, but let's, pret let's pretend this is a picture of a school. And that's all you need to do. So click on camera, photo library. It will open your photos. Here it's opening my PC. Pick the photo that you want, open, and there you go. To see if it worked, I click done in the upper right hand corner. At Brown Elementary. And there's my new button. Let's say I don't want to use a photo. I want to just change the symbol. I'm going to use the magnifying glass instead and I want to find a picture of a school. I have options here, lots of, lots and lots of options. This is all of the content that's built into TD Snap, but it'll also let you search the web if you're connected to the internet. So if you have a child who is much more photo based at their level, you can pick a photo of a school that looks like theirs click done. Oops. Didn't like that first photo for some reason. I see it's at Brown Elementary, I have my photo. Here's my message. I click done. At Brown Elementary. And there you go. Let me show you one other quick way that you may want to change a symbol or create a new symbol. So if I go to personal, I have a blank canvas. Go up to edit mode, gear with the pencil. Click on the button you want to change. Today I was working with a little guy on like. I like, I don't like, and picking a toy. So this, as soon as you type in this box, it's going to select the most commonly used PCS symbol, which is this little boy here. If for example, I'm working with a little girl. This is her device. I may want to pick one. Well, I would want to pick one that looks more like her. So I could choose this one. Click on it. Click done. And maybe I want it to say a phrase. I want it to say I like instead of just like. Because remember, the label is what the text on the button says. The message is what the device speaks. Click done. I like. And then it will put the whole message in the message bar. I like. So that you can keep building your phrase. 
I'll show you one more time here with the pencil. If, if you are editing several symbols, you may want to turn off the editing passcode. I'll make another video to show you how to do that. And I want to put slinky here. It pops up with an option. I don't really like that option. So I'm going to click the magnifying glass to search for something else. Those are pretty boring. I've never seen a black slinky. So this time I will look on the web. And this looks like the one that I brought today. Click on it. Done. I don't want to change what it says. I don't want to change what the words are on the button. So I can click done. Slinky. And there you go. Now I can practice my speech lesson. I like slinky. And then I'll make a quick one for I like to use the not symbol for any negation. I don't, can't, won't, no. It just makes the semantic association a little bit stronger. So I want this to say not, but the message is I don't like. I don't like, slinky. And now I can do my speech therapy session. Last thing to keep in mind, anytime you make changes, you will want to sync so that they are backed up and you don't lose all your hard work. So you click on this cloud in the upper right hand corner. Sync page set. And then you can see here, I have several different versions saved. So for some reason, the child gets into the device accidentally and starts editing everything, which they're sneaky sometimes and they can do that. You can always go back to your last saved version and back that up. So it's a really important step to always make sure that you, you sync it whenever you've made changes. So hopefully that helps. Again, we went into quick fires and feelings and we personalize this button to have a school and say the name of the child's school. Ed Brown Elementary. It does not pop up in the message bar because it's a quick fire. And then if we go back to personal, we can work on our speech therapy activity. I like Slinky. Or I don't like Slinky. And you're all set.